so literally I'm in my boss's office, nine o'clock in the morning, Monday morning, just starting. He looks at me and he goes, you've got to get together all the data we have because we have to tell a story of why we're worth more. And I went, okay. Literally the only data we had was a table from NetSuite. <laughs> and it was, it was tens, if not hundreds of thousands of accounts. And it was literally hundreds of rows of data. And what was incredible was taking this sheet and getting it into usable format, which fields matter, which fields are bad. The data was a nightmare. United States, you know, USA, well, US was US or USA or United States of America. You know, the data for our customers was always solid because finance reviewed it, but the data for leads was a mess and leads were accounts and, you know, effectively it was a leadless, think of it as a leadless Salesforce in NetSuite. And just the data cleanup was a nightmare. We literally spent half of a year cleaning this data and, and getting it there. And what was very, very interesting for me was that was where I came upon the, the realization that I can't always have every piece of data. It would be nice if I had all of these hundred or so fields for every single account in perpetuity. What do I really need? What do I need to prioritize? What is going to be insightful? Uh, and we made some mistakes along that. Obviously, just the, the brain damage of just staring at that Excel file forever was was a lot. But, you know, it taught me that. It really taught me also a lot of how to present data, right? How to use data to tell a story, how to use like really weird cuts of the data and stuff like that. And But I think there was nothing, you know, probably the easiest was we actually had a kid who was like a uh, an intern who was a data scientist getting his master's degree. Super smart kid, wonderful, lovely kid. But he was literally useless throughout the entire process because he he was taught to deal with cleanse data. And so he would do this analysis on country field that would have 2,000 countries. Why? Because there was 50 ways you could write U USA. I still remember one was UNTD period STS period of AMER period. That was literally how we had US as one of the, you know, one of in one of our rows somewhere. Like he had to clean up all that, right? Our currency, you know, our, what currency mattered. Oh my God, these companies are wonderful. No, those companies are in South African Rand. And the South African Rand, when compared to the US dollar, is a lot, you know, is many to one. And it looks like these companies are paying us a ton of money when they're not. And so like the understanding of like really cleaning the data, getting it there, but but being judicious, you can't boil the ocean, right? You have to be very selective to say these this is the data that's gonna be important to me. Um, and only this data. It's a good discipline. It was probably it was a lot of pain to learn it, but once I did, I, I felt a lot better about the world.